Welcome to Kempsford. A little village, first festival. Why are you here? Well, I'm here because the person who was organising the festival knew somebody who knew me and asked me if I would come. And I'm really glad I have come. It's a beautiful day and lovely village to come to as well. And a great festival. It's, it's very much in James Bond country and your books are sort of based on the terrorist, um, the, the anti-terror uh, people in, in, based obviously in London. Um, how, how, do you, how do you get your ideas? Well, I get my ideas from the fact that I was uh, in MI5 for 27 years and was Director General for four and a half. Um, I also get my ideas for plots by keeping a very sharp eye on what's going on in the world and putting my experience and what's happening nowadays together and producing fiction, which is what I now write. Your hero is, is, is a lady hero. Um, are there many ladies now in, in that role? There are a lot of ladies working in the intelligence services. When I joined, of course, women could only be sort of second class. We weren't allowed to run the sharp end operations. Nowadays they do, and women are doing all the work of the security and intelligence services just alongside men. Yes, my heroine is a woman called Liz Carlyle, and she is um, at the very sharp end of what's going on in the security field, and she does the job extremely well, as women do, of course. And there are a lot of terrorist writers about. I noticed in your speech you mentioned John le Carré, and various other ones. So what, what modern writers do you, do you follow? I um, read a lot of thrillers, um, both police thrillers and sort of espionage things. My favourite is John le Carré, who I think is the master of the sort of Cold War espionage genre. Um, I also, currently I read people like Henning Mankell um, and Donna Leon, particularly because I think that the way they create their background, the setting, for their books is absolutely superb, and that's one of the things I'm very interested in doing in my own books. Uh, Henning Markle, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of his. I'm, I'm reading his books now. Um, translated from the Swedish, so I mean, mm. obviously there's a, um, a, a jump across the languages. Yes, but I mean, many novels now are translated into lots of different languages. Mine have been, and uh, other people's are too. But I think the, the great attraction of Henning Mankell is the fact that the atmosphere that he creates it translates really from one country to another, and the spooky nature, you know, of the background to his, to his plots too. Yes, they're very good. Um, so what's your, what's, your hero, what's your heroine doing I in the latest books? Well, in the last book um, that was published, which came out in October and will come out in paperback um, in, in the summer, um, she's uh, working against some Republican groups in Northern Ireland who still haven't accepted that the um, peace process is in play and are still trying to kill um, soldiers and, um, well, soldiers, policemen, anybody they can get their hands on, really. And so Liz Carlyle has been posted to Northern Ireland to work against one of these groups. And um, she uh, finds it's not quite what she expected, as happens in most of my books. And I'm just starting on a book now which is going to cover the, the sort of Somali pirate subject. Though uh, Liz Carlyle is not going to go out to the Horn of Africa, she's going to operate from the UK, as she does, because this particular group has got links into the United Kingdom. So that's the next plot. Um, so, you know, MI5 still takes a, a, a lot of your time then. I mean, you, you're obviously researching deep into this. Um, no, I don't research deeply into it. I, as I say, I use my own experience and I research into the current plots, but that's not, um, you know, researching into MI5 particularly. I still have to get my books cleared by my former colleagues so, uh, t so they can make sure that what I write isn't in impinging, really, on their current operations, which I'm not at all involved in. So coming back to the festival, a nice little festival, nice little village, will you be coming back? Well, I don't know whether this festival is going to be an annual event and whether I'll be invited back, but I'm sure if I am, I'll consider it extremely seriously, yes. Thank you very much for your time.